Hello friends, in this video I shall try to show how to install an electric water heater also called as electric geyser. First unbox electric water heater. You will need 16 ampere plug Teflon tape T with 3 nipples connected Angle valve Two hot water connection pipes steel ribbed Wire striper and screwdriver Bolts, coach screws, and amp, washers to fit heater on wall Drilling machine, nail hammer, snap and grip wrench or you can use any adjustable wrench Let's start with wiring a plug Remember to connect, blue wire to earth terminal, black wire to neutral and red like wires to phase. Mark the spots to drill by making a hole with pen. Now compare drill bot with roll plug, and insert the required drill bit into a power drill, and firmly lock it, then make pilot drills at marked positions. Insert the plugs into the pilot holes. Insert the tip of the screw into the installed wall plug, then gently twist the head of the screw in between your fingers until the tip enters the first few millimeters of the plug. And add nuts. Insert appropriate screw driving bit into power drill and firmly lock it. Then drive all screws using a power drill machine. Now install water heater. Connect hot water pipes to both inlet and outlet of water heater, later, I shall explain why hot water pipe for inlet. Properly tighten both pipe nuts. Now disconnect the water supply line, and remove plastic PVC threaded pipe plug. Use Teflon tape to seal the angle valve nipple threads, embed the tape in an anti-clockwise direction. Connect T to angle valve, I missed it here, but that's not difficult, now install T connected angle valve.
Now connect hot water pipes to both nipples of tea. Connect all pipes and tighten nuts using adjustable wrench, don't worry. If you get confused with piping connections, later, I shall explain in details. We are done with all connections, plug pin into socket. Now I shall explain each pipe connection, watch carefully to understand. This is solar water connection, when solar water available, then solar water will flow towards T. Switch off this angle valve, to avoid, mixing hot and cold water. And water continues to flow to heater. Hot water from heater goes to tap and shower. When no solar water available then simply, turn off solar water angle valve and turn on cold water angle valve. So that cold water will go to heater, see cold water will not be go into solar water as we switched off solar water angel valve. Cold water continues to flow to heater and hot water from heater to tap and shower. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed video, please subscribe like, and share.